All right, everybody, part two. This is exciting of this X Lights tutorial on this song by August Burns Red that I'm doing. Um, a couple quick, quick footnotes. I'm just going to, in this video, walk you through what I've sequenced here since part one. So I, I spent a few weeks, uh, honestly got really busy and didn't have time for it and just got back to kind of completing things um, with this sequence from where I stopped in part one. So I just watched the end of that video just to remind myself, hey, where did I leave you guys off so that hopefully you're not lost uh, when we come to this video? And then my other footnote is that um, this sequence isn't perfect, but it's probably good enough to put on the display. But also, um, as I've mentioned in my latest update for my display, um, my wife and I are having a child due January 1st, uh, second son. And that means that, um, you know, sometimes um, things change with the display. And my wife decided that she didn't want this song. She's the, the song director. She chooses the song for our display. Um, I don't really care. I just want any music that's good. And this song got kicked out. So um, I'm not going to use it this year. I may shoot it, though, because I see on part one, um, Christmas at Crestline, I believe, wrote in and said that they want to see how this looks on the house. And so, you know, I got to give it to you. Um, so I'll try to remember to do that once we get into the season just to play this and record it once so that I have it for you guys. So... I want to show you some of the things that I've done. You can probably see here on the sequencing side of X Lights that there's a lot more going on than there was before. And so what I've really done is I've taken basically... Oh, that was loud. I've taken basically the various parts of the song that I sequenced before. Like, I believe I showed you this and the effects that I built. And the first thing I did was I just listened to the whole song and I found anywhere that sounded similar to where I did this effect in the first you know, minute or two of the song. And this is actually a really long song. So it happens here, it happens here, it happens over here, but I simplified it out a little because it sounded just a little bit different. And then it doesn't happen for the rest of the song. Um, in this particular song, at the end here, there's this weird, cool little slow guitar part. But I decided that that's not needed for the display. So I'm actually gonna go ahead, if I was doing this for real, and instead of running this cool effect that you see here as this plays, um, I'm going to go ahead and just um, cut that out in the audio, cut that out in the sequence, and make the song end uh, right here. As you can probably hear there, we should be able to do a fade out there and make it uh, make sense musically. So... Then for the rest of the song, um, once I kind of lay out my big parts, okay, so like here, you know, we've got our basic um, looks that I've got that I go through through the various parts of the song, and then I've laid out on my groups on the top here. Um, you know, that's the major parts of how this, this particular sequence looks. And so then I go in, and this is a rock sequence, and so I've gone in, and I've done a lot of beat hits, okay? So I use my beats and my bars timing track to help get those in sync. But ultimately, I end up turn, turning off timing completely um, a lot of the time when I'm trying to get stuff that looks cool. Um, one thing you'll also notice is if you go ahead in here, one big tip for setting up uh, drum beats is under audio here, you can set your play speed, okay? So half that speed or less when you're trying to line things up really nice and you're going to be able to line up uh, hits of the light with the beat really well. And then when they play back at full speed, they look awesome, even if they're not perfect at half speed. One more thing I did uh, was on random sounding drum fills is I just threw in some random beats. So you can see that right here. And it might look complex, but you can see really all I did was I did some random drum beats here. And you can see how that looks on my house. And then I literally just select it. Look at what my top selection is here. Copy, Control C or Apple C. Come over here, find where I wanted to start again, pasted it, and then I did a fair amount of copy and paste through this sequence of the song here. There's a lot of drum hits, and it's it looks really cool. It looks really complex, but it only took me a minute or two to really just go in and copy, paste everything. So now I think to kind of end this video, I'm just going to play it and I might pause it occasionally to uh, kind of show you what's going on. So here we go.
Okay, that was actually a cool one that I'm not sure I covered before. So this is just a wipe effect. This is literally the curtain effect in X Lights, um, as you can see here. And I just used that on that um, where he hits, where he uses his ride symbol to create a splash. And all I did was, you know, I really just brought in that effect. I put it on my whole house, my all group. And I went ahead, used the curtain effect, curtain edge as the left. So that means it's pulling from the right, basically to the left, um, having it being a closed curtain. And then I just set the timing for the start and end of that symbol splash. You can see it again. And you can see it's a really cool transition in the song. All right, and that is where we stop it um, because that's where I'm going to fade it out. Of course, this isn't really going to be in my display. If it was probably in this segment here towards the end, I would uh, I would probably do a lot more drum fill stuff. But since it's not going to be on my display for real, that's all I'm going to cover for now. But if you have questions, if you have thoughts, you know, let me know what you want to see. Um, be sure to subscribe here, of course, on Learn Christmas Lighting. And if you're starting with your display this year, check out our resources at LearnChristmasLighting.com. Um, there's not going to be like a full course with step-by-step -step how to's this year, but I will definitely, definitely have that going for, for next year. So thanks for enjoying, uh, let people know about it. If, uh, you are on other social media, tell them about learning Christmas lighting and I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks.